Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Open Nebula Enterprise tools to simplify your cloud upgrade. Okay, what I'll first do is explain a little bit about our Open Nebula Enterprise tools. I will walk you through the installation of the OneScape extension, and then I'll show you how to use the OneConfig tool to automate the configuration file upgrades while preserving your specific customizations. Okay. The main objective of the One Config tool is really to make life easier for Open Nebula Cloud admins during that upgrade, upgrade process. Many times there are so many changes in, in your config files and checking the difference between them one by one can, can really be dif difficult. So to make things easier, we created the One Config tool, which is really a tool that's able to read all of the changes and upgrade the configuration files all at once, even if the new directories have been created. And this is one of the exclusive enterprise tools that is available for corporate users as part of the Open Nebula subscription. Okay, so the first step that we need to do here is, is to install the, the OneConfig tool, which allows you to por perform this upgrade. The first step needs to be performed just the first time, and then from then on, all you need is to update the version. So we're going to configure the repository. This will depend really on the distribution that you're using. In our case, we're using CentOS 7. So we're editing the file here. Okay, we copy the file and finally set our token. Okay, now you'll receive this token when you start an Open Nebula subscription. Okay, so we close the file now and, and install the tool. So we'll install it, wait till it's finished. All right, it's almost done. All right, so we have the tool ready. We can start with the upgrade process. The first step is to change the version of our repository. All right, we'll open the file. Change the 5.10 at the end by to 5.12. Okay, so this will install the latest maintenance or major release that's available. To refresh the cache. Okay. So first, first thing we'll need to do now is offline all of the hosts. Okay. You can see that they're all offline. Let's see. Good, there we go. So then we'll need to stop all of the services. So we're gonna stop all four services. First, we'll start with the Open Nebula Daemon. Okay. Then we'll stop the Sunstone. Okay, now we do the flow. And lastly, we'll stop the gate service. Okay. The last step before performing the package upgrade is to back up the configuration files. Okay. So we should, we should have everything ready to perform the package upgrade. Okay. So now we're going to perform this upgrade. All right, now we just need to wait till that finishes. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. It'll take a, a minute or two and we'll, we'll jump back in when it's done. All right, so now we're ready to use OneConfig. So before running the tool, you need to check the state by running the command one CFG status, okay? And as you can see, it detects that we have Open Nebula 5.12.1 installed, and the configuration files are set to 5.10.5. Okay, so now we need to run the one CFG upgrade. Okay. That's going to upgrade all the configuration files to the new version, and it's going to preserve all of your changes. 
now we can see that the configuration files have been upgraded to version 5.12.0. So you'll see that the version is different from the Open Nebula one only because in maintenance releases we do not change the configuration files. Okay, so the next step here is to upgrade our database. And we need to run the command 1db upgrade. Okay, and at this point, our Open Nebula instance is going to be updated to a new version. We just need to perform some final checks and, and start the services again. Okay. So to check the database consistency, we need to run 1db fsc. Okay. And we start all the services again. So we're going to start uh, the Open Nebula daemon. And we follow up with Open Nebula Sunstone. All right, one second. There we go. We're going to start, then we start the flow and the gate services. Okay, so the front end is, has been upgraded. Now we should upgrade all the hosts. In our case, we have a KVM host here. So we, we're going to log into the host. And first of all, we'll change the version of the packages. Okay. Once again, right, we're going to change it to 512. Then we perform the upgrade of the package. Okay. Okay. And then finally, we're going to restart the libvirt server. Okay, so we come back to the front end. We can enable the hosts. And finally, we are gonna sync the remotes across all of the hosts using the one host sync force command. Okay, and here I see that I don't need to run that under root. So I change to my one admin account and rerun it. And here we see that all of the hosts have been updated successfully. So there you have it. This tool was really designed to simplify your upgrade. And hopefully you'll have a chance to test it out yourself.